Welcome back to the vlog, guys! Yay! <laughs> it's Friday. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna film. I just wanted to film this right now because right now it's like I'm really like, did I do everything wrong? <laughs> did I do like, uh, like, no, I, I don't know. If you know me a bit, then you know it's like, I'm not a person who thinks like that everything was a big mistake and like it is what it is but it's just like at this very moment I'm so overwhelmed and I'm so just like I feel that I'm like pushing and pushing and doing so much and I'm like not seeing the results that I would like to see and it's just frustrating and it's just it's just so many things that I need to think about and then you know, it's like I'm frustrated and I'm like, I, my French isn't getting like super good and all these things. But then I, my ambition is to have like a, like a French like the French. <laughs> and I know that won't happen overnight and I just need to let it go. And also, you know, just like the little small things that just get you every time, you know, like so many administrative bureaucratic things that I'm trying to wrap my head around and that I'm just like, I'm meeting so many interesting people and there's so many great opportunities for me here. But at the same time, I'm just like so tired. Yeah. I just wanted to kind of like get this off my chest because I'm just like, I'm in this state of total overwhelm. I've been that way for a few weeks now and it's it's just exhausting you know it's and i'm doing i'm chipping away you know it's like making the sculpture and i'm chipping away piece by piece and it feels like it's really hard stone and i really have to chip and i really have to be careful not to chip off too much you know what i mean so it's like yeah just trying to do to do everything in this time and i keep on forgetting all the things that i've achieved i've been here for one year and I've achieved quite a lot, but yeah, I don't, know. I don't know. Let's continue with the vlog. I just wanted to start off the vlog like this and just be like, you know, be open about it, be frank. Let's have some cute few days, I guess, in the French countryside. Let's see how the weather also evolves. I wanted to do a lot of cleaning and gardening. Let's see if that works out. I am Amadeus. And I'm renovating a 13th century chateau. To be all honest with you, it's just a half. And you're watching my vlog about my new life in France. So what a nice start to the vlog that was with a kind of breakdown at the parking lot. Um, it is Saturday. So that's already like, has that been yesterday? Yesterday morning, yeah. So, um... I just got ready in my DIY clothes and I'm looking for my boots because my boyfriend just helped me getting um, some stuff out or all of the stuff out of the open barn um, because I want to deep clean it to prepare it so that we can start kind of redoing things there. And well, I'll show you everything in a bit. Uh, I just need to look for my boots. All right, we're outside and um, first of all, I want to show you <laughs> that's the insides of the open barn that's there, plus all my summer stuff that's anyway there. And the open barn is all empty now. So as you can see, it's really a big, big mess. And I really want to redo the walls. I uh, want to re-sand the whole wooden deck and uh, varnish it again. And I want to spray paint the walls for this. I also want to buy a spray painter. So yeah, as you can see, there's quite a bit to do here. And I would like to do it before the first guests arrive. Uh, so I'm opening up in mid-March again. And before that, I'd like to have that done just to have it out of the way. And also, I have been fighting the pigeons here. <laughs> and what I did order is a bird net that I will put exactly there so that they can't sit down anywhere anymore. Because it's just like, 
it's really exhausting fighting them <laughs> and it's um it's really not working and i've tried everything i tried cinnamon i tried like you know like all these kinds of different things and if there's a lot of movement in here they don't come in here as much but it's just really like yeah it's not really nice um especially the pigeons they're just like Ugh. don't you think they're rats of the skies they're kind of like you I don't mind the other the other birds are so nice and so much more cultivated than those pigeons. <laughs> so the other day I bought this Kersha high pressure washer and I want to try it out. That's really cool. It also comes with like deck cleaner, patio and deck cleaner. <laughs> Let's see if we can use that one. Water resistant wooden stone surfaces. So that's perfect. And it came with all these accessories. It's really cool. I'm really looking forward to using it. It is absolutely crazy how well this is going, Ashley, and how much power this little thing has. I mean, it's teensy tiny, look at it. But it has so much power. It's absolutely crazy and I'm really happy. And it's going really well. It actually cleans off more than I thought I could clean off. With this thing, you can then wash the floor. And I think with the other cash that I still have inside the house, I'll just like suck in all the, all the remaining water just to have a bit more like, you know, so it dries a bit faster and it has more opportunity also to dry a bit faster. But I have to say, I'm really, really happy with that. And this thing was, usually it was, I think 150 euros and it was down to 50 euros. <laughs> when I bought it. So I'm really happy that it's like such a good buy. And actually now the sun's coming out even a tiny, tiny, teensy bit. Let's see. This is so satisfying. It really does me good to actually be doing things and to be moving forward with things. And this is, I think I've been lacking the energy or the mindset to go through stuff, you know, to just be like, okay, what needs to be done and how can I tackle it? Because it, I was just so overwhelmed by one million things that need to be done. And because I'm just like on this alone, you know, um, and it's not an excuse for, I'm, I'm not trying to make excuses for, for, Ooh, 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 I'm I'm completely alone on this. No, it's my business. And I also, because I'm alone and because it's my business, I can also do things differently, you know? There's ups and downs to this. So I'm just gonna make some lunch and I have sorted, you can see the yoga mats. <laughs> I have, I bought yoga mats and never aired them out. So gonna ha it's all happening today. And it's good, it's good. Also, bolsters are here uh, because I had like a huge chest, like a, it, it really looks like a big treasure chest. And it's been outside, wasn't the smartest idea in the open barn. So I just cleaned it all. You see, it's all wet on top. Um, and that's where everything's gonna go back again. And I'm kind of hoping that maybe I'm not, I'm not really sure if I am up to for this and if my like mindset and if I'm ready for it, but I was thinking maybe I could give yoga courses throughout the summer in the open barn, maybe just like once a week, you know, um, nothing too crazy, but like this, if I prepare it really well, if it finally works without the birds, please, then I might be able to actually like have some nice calming cute yoga courses going on or oh, here in the grand salon i was also thinking if i could move the couches away but i'm not quite sure about that but let's first make some lunch and then we'll go on <laughs> making some coffee and then we'll go for a walk i'm really tired i just realized that this was really tiring like it took me like three or four hours Oof. It was, but it's good. I'm, I'm really happy today. I'm really happy that I've made it. And I'm looking outside already. It's just like so nice to see the space a bit, a bit cleaner. 
and to know that next week I'll be taking care of it even more. So the moment we walk out the house, rain starts, obviously, because why not? <laughs> and, uh, well, I just walked through because I was like, you know what, I think, first of all, she needs a walk. Um, I need a walk. It's already half past four and um, I also just wanted to be outside and it looked like there was just like this big grey cloud behind me that's passing through so um, now it's sunny. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We just came back and just before the next bit of rain started. But actually, I bought strawberries. There were strawberry plants outside at the hardware store where they also sell plants, you know, um, in the plant section. So I thought, might as well just buy some. <laughs> so I thought, like, I bought two big pots, like really big pots. So I want to put them in like two really big pots. So I thought maybe I could do that just now quickly um, and then I'll be taking a shower and getting ready to go up and before that doing my French. So these are the ones that I bought and yes, I, like I said, I also bought big plan, big pots for them. Actually, it's not so bad anymore. The rain stopped a bit. I still have this and goes into this pot. First strawberries there, and I don't know if I showed you. But it's my little greenhouse that I got, and I already put some seeds. I already planted some seeds in little pots. So let's see. As I said, I'm really new to this, and it's a bit touch and go for me. So just, just trying, you know. And then I think I'll just have to learn as I go. But this in the back. Do you see the open one? It already looks so much better be just because it's washed. <laughs> and we're walking up to the village to have some dinner and we'll sleep at my place um, because we need to get up early in the morning because my boyfriend's leaving for work uh, for a week and I need to drive up to the airport to Limoges early in the morning so we'll be doing that and um, I'll enjoy my last evening. Sounds very dramatic, <laughs> but it isn't. With my boyfriend. Good morning. It is seven in the morning. We're getting ready to go to the airport. Can you see her? How she sits here? Oh, she's gone. <laughs> We just dropped him off. I never liked this. I'm not a huge fan of departures. But it's just a week, so it will be fine. He has one continental flight and one intercontinental flight later in the week. Yeah, and then he'll be back on Sunday, close to the continent, and then in the UK, and next week. And then Monday he'll be back in France. So I'll be picking him up Monday next not next week, Don't but the week after. Oh well it is what it is, right? So I'm making my way home on the back roads. It's a bit lighter now, it's rainy, not so nice. Well whatever.
another bed actually um you can see a sort of but yeah um i'll be doing that as well um maybe tomorrow maybe today i'm not sure my boyfriend just landed and is on his, on his way in uh the uk in london and i am going for a walk with justine and my neighbor mandy and yes <laughs> we're gonna have a nice walk walk the kids a bit It looks really nice now, but it really wasn't. We got soaked. Oh gosh. And I didn't film at all because we were just also like uh, talking to one another. And <laughs> the first part was really just like drenched in rain. And now the sun's out. Oh well, it is what it is. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just gotta laugh it away. And if you're in good company, you can also walk through rain. <laughs> Just lit a fire. Let's see, <laughs> because it's so nippy. I didn't clean the fireplace, but I thought like just for a few hours now because I'm anyway leaving in the evening. So it's good. And it's not really cold, cold. I just feel a bit like, Ish. so I need to get out of this wet clothes. I just made a quick udon noodle soup and I'm gonna watch the fire while I eat and maybe watch a bit of YouTube <laughs> and that's it. I just went to the uh, post box because I totally forgot that I might have gotten something and I did. Look, and it's from myself, Le Demi Chateau. <laughs> because I ordered um, a sample t-shirt actually. Um, because I thought like for summer it would be cute if I do events and things like this to have, um, which I'm planning by the way, um, to have like a bit more of a t-shirt, you know, when I serve people and things. Just me being weird. Yeah, I just love the embroidered stuff because I already found like I have my embroidered hoodie and look, it's so pretty the quality of the embroidery is just so beautiful let's try this on quickly oh yeah oh yeah i really like this t-shirt actually looks quite nice yes i'm happy <laughs> yeah if i have guests i can like wear it now for special occasions and just have that t-shirt and you all know that i'm staff but Wait a minute, if there's just one person, well, whatever, I found it was cute. So now I want to um, take the time and actually research a bit on spray painters and if I can buy something that I could potentially pick up even tomorrow, that would be perfect. But let's see if I can find something or if I won't. Do you guys remember her? We bought her in the Brocante. I think it was when Noemi was there, right? Like two or three weeks ago. And um, I thought I would hang it because I had a bit of a change here. So next to my fireplace, I now put this, this trunk. I think I was talking about it yesterday. Um, it was standing next to the outdoor sofa outside. Now I put it inside and it has like all the yoga mats, bolsters and yoga blocks inside. And like this, they're secure. I thought we can put her up there. There's a nail somewhere or like, yeah, here is already something. I guess we can just put her onto that. I don't think it will be girlfriend's final place, but I thought might as well. Now the wall just looked kind of empty, with, especially with the trunk standing there. Trunk, chest, I don't know, you know what I mean. I 
guess I just treated um, the trunk with some um, Liberon wax and um, the sofa I'll leave it like this with the cover on because um, Totoro is staying one more night um, at Justine's place and my boyfriend's place um, for people new to the channel Totoro is my boyfriend's dog and um, tomorrow Justine is leaving so I'm taking Totoro so I'm getting him here in the afternoon tomorrow so that's why I'm just leaving everything here because he sleeps here and it's his like little little big bed so that's why I put a cover on that sofa always because he is losing quite a bit of white hair and I just don't want it all over the sofa and it's a bit easier maintenance to just put the covers on that's why the cushions are also on the back there that you can see because he also loves to play with the cushions so that's why I just take them away from the very beginning it is half past six and I was invited to half past six, so I'm leaving. Um, but it's the usual slight French tardiness that I've adopted. <laughs> um, so yeah, I shall see you after that evening with my neighbors. The house is shut. Everything's done. My seedlings, I hope my seedlings are doing well. I mean, the, the strawberries we planted yesterday seem to be holding up quite well and there is no signs of frost and nothing about frost for the next one or two weeks I think for on all the weather reports good morning I just got out of bed it's 8 30 in bed for a long time just like staring at my phone having anxieties here and there <laughs> about like different things and different things i need to do this week but i think i just really need to sit down make a plan what is realistic also to achieve this week and what i want to achieve this week because otherwise i'll just be like anxious all the time and i won't be able to do anything so i guess that's the plan for this morning and then kind of follow through this week Look at this one, being all happy in front of the fire. And while Aniti's been chilling by the fire, I have been very productive, actually writing a huge to-do list with all the things I want to achieve in 2024. So maybe eventually I will do a plan with me video uh, of 2024. And um, then I'll walk you through it, what I wrote down, how I categorized it and everything, because I really feel that it helped my anxiety to write everything down that I would like to achieve and that I need to achieve also, like, you know, uh, administrative thing things. So, um, and I've been really good. I've already achieved like quite a bit and just like writing it down and then making things, some things happen. Finally got a Metro card so that I can shop at the Metro, which is a huge supermarket form. Uh, Americans are watching it's kind of like Costco um, so you basically but it's only for businesses so if you have a business you can apply for a metro card and then you can go shopping there and they have appliances they have food wine all these kinds of things so it's really cool to have that um, especially like for wines and things like this it's going to be really good uh, for once the Chambordot uh, opens up again and I actually have been researching about the Intermittents in France, which is the program for artists in France. So as to withstand their art also during pauses of projects, you know, in between projects, because we never have like project after project. Um, we usually have time in between. 
So I've been researching about that and trying to get, wrap my head around that, how to apply for it, how I can apply for it so that I can move my dance business on. And I just got a package from stuff that I ordered from Amazon, which is like bird netting for the open barn, as I was telling you, and things like this. Ooh, actually it's turning out to be quite the good day. And since my neighbors made vegan chili yesterday, I'm gonna have some vegan chili now. I'm gonna reheat it because I got the doggy back. Things are good. I think like really, I just need to like really take it step by step because again, this morning I was already like anxious. So step by step. Finally a bit of a break in between the rain. It's not really that cold. I think I'm dressed too warm, but um, at the same time, it's like so wet. Oh, but the sun came out. Oh, gosh. Uh, so Justine just dropped off Tota. And I'm not having, I'm not taking him on a walk because it's not this kind of weather. He's old and can stay by the fire, chill, and Anita and, Anita and Mia are going to take a little walk and um, yeah, just enjoy being outside after being cooped up all day. Oh, it's just so nice to feel a bit of sun. Mm -hmm. I think I'm slowly running out of wood that is close to my little window which I used to take in the wood inside. So I thought I'm gonna stack up some wood and then you're going to see my chaos in here <laughs> because everything that was in the open barn has gone here. Okay, so, so I took these over there. That looks better. Now I can take them again from the inside. It'll be a bit easier. Oh, it's actually not that bad. Look, quite cute. <laughs> Tomorrow, I want to start that project. At least put in the netting on top so that I won't have any pigeons pooping all over my wooden deck. <laughs> As you can hear, kids are eating <laughs> their dinner. <laughs> it is so cute. And now I just sat down to do my French classes. And look who joined me instantly. <laughs> it's um, quarter past eight and I still haven't cooked anything. So I just started and I think I'm just, I took an aubergine out, um, which I'm also trying to grow. I put some seedlings in. Let's see if it's going to happen. I mean, like I put some seeds into it have some seedlings at one point. Let's see if it works. Still have some gnocchi left and I'll just do like a gnocchi with just a simple tomato um, sauce based on like diced canned tomatoes because that's the only one that I use in the winter months because I'm not a big believer in buying tomatoes especially in winter um, because fresh tomatoes in winter come a long way and they usually don't taste really well in France at least like or in Europe in general and once tomato season is back and we're in full swing of summer and you can get them at the markets from local vendors and local um, farmers that's when I buy tomatoes <laughs> and uh, that's when I love to have like fresh tomatoes and stuff and I usually don't do so many tomato sauces but actually more like um, use them fresh because they're just best fresh so um, yeah just cutting up some aubergine and um, we'll be frying it up first in pan because that's kind of the best way to deal with aubergine so that it doesn't get so bitter. Just fry it up in quite a bit of oil. Um, and then you just put salt, salt and pepper after. 
at least that's how I do it. Um, and it always works for me like that. <laughs> And if you'd actually like to learn some French-inspired vegan recipes from scratch, then I still have spots left in my vegan cooking retreat that's going to happen at the beginning of May. So go and check out my website. The link is in the description below and there you can book your stay with me. And you can either have, book a double room as a single room or if you have someone else coming with you, you can just book a double room and get away cheaper. Everything's included. Just yeah, You just have to pay for your travels. So yeah, I'm looking forward to having you here if you decide to come. And you can also see on my website what dishes that we'll be cooking. And um, yeah, we're just gonna have a fun, nice few days here at the Chateau. So all I did now was just added a splash, like half a can of um, canned diced tomatoes, a splash of wine, red wine, and um, obviously I've added the aubergines, and um, just a bit of salt. I'm gonna add pepper once it's on the plate, a bit of herbs of your liking, and um, just a quick simple dinner. Anita seemed to be really cold, so I covered her with two covers. And I am ready to go to bed. Just took a quick shower, brushed my teeth, got ready for the night. Now I'll just wait for my boyfriend to call me because we still wanted to talk and then I'll call it a night. See you tomorrow, guys. Good morning. It is past eight. And I'm being lazy, but I need to get up because I'm meeting my neighbor Mandy for a walk at nine with the doggies. So but I'm just going to have a quick coffee and that's it. I need to still deep asleep and outside it's okay. A bit foggy today. Look at these two gobbling away. It's actually turned out to be quite nice in just a few minutes. Look at this beautiful for me cappuccino like vegan coffee drink. <laughs> Off we go with two little cuties. It's really nice. A bit colder but nicer. But actually probably in the sun not that cold even. tackle this it's real life guys i'm sorry it's just like sometimes um it can be a mess a bit this is my messy pile inside the gonzano um i'm gonna have some breakfast now it's 10 just came back from a really lovely walk and a really walk lovely talk also with my neighbor mandy and um the kids are happy it seems they're wagging their little tails and um, yes, I'm hungry. All righties, you guys. I think I'm going to stop this video right here. I still have a lot to do and I would like to have time to edit this properly and everything. Thank you for following along in the last few days. I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, if you have any questions for me go ahead and ask them and if you want to know more about living in france or different thing things like experiences in france then i'll be happy to answer your questions um so just drop them in the comments below and i'll get back to you about it and yes i would say we are meeting back on sunday for another video which shall be 
Interesting. That's all I'm hinting for now. It's about renovation and renovation mistakes. So um, be sure to tune in on a Sunday and I will talk to you guys very soon. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe and like and à bientôt et au revoir. Bisous from the southwest of France. Bye.